The Words of the Mothers, Sabrina Fulton, Trayvon Martin's mother. It hurts every time I see another tragedy in the news. I feel for those families. I can understand that mother's cry and that father's yelling. I can understand those things because I've been through it and I'm still going through it years later. The pain is so fresh. It's like it never goes away. It's better at some times, but it never goes away. Leslie McSpadden, Michael Brown's mother. Please honor my child's memory by encouraging our young people and building them up so that everything we're trying to do with the protests and marches is not in vain. People will ask me how this will end. I don't know because I'm still very much in this fight and in this moment, the public support gives me strength and I'm getting stronger by the day. My son is a legend. People become legends because they make history. And that's what he did. It brought the hidden painful truths of this country to light for a new generation and people across the world will be better for it. Tressa Sherrod visits the graveyard of her son, John Crawford, who was shot and killed while standing in the aisle of a Walmart. She visits him at least once a week, mostly in the morning. She talks to him, tells him she loves him, I update him on my life, the family, how his kids are doing. I just talk about everything, Sherrod said. I shouldn't be standing here looking down at him. He should be standing here looking down at me. When asked how she wanted her daughter, Sandra Bland, to be remembered, Geneva Reed Veal said, I want Sandy to be remembered as an activist, sassy, smart, and she knew her rights. Do the research while this is going on so you know your rights. And it's not your daughter, your son, your kid. That's what I want, she added. The anger can be channeled into something so much greater than the incident that happened to Sandy. The words of Samaria Rice, Tamir Rice's mother. In a time in which a non-indictment who have killed an unarmed black child is business as usual, we mourn for Tamir and for all of the black people who have been killed by the police without justice. In our view, this process demonstrates that race is still an extremely troubling and serious problem in our country and the criminal justice system. I don't want my child to have died for nothing and I refuse to let his legacy or his name be ignored. We will continue to fight for justice for him and for all families who must live with the pain that we live with. Let us hold in our hearts the words of the mothers. Let the deaths of their children not be in vain. Let us mourn while we strengthen our resolve to work for justice. Salam, peace, hashe.